Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm talking about the day 20 and 21 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and the topics that are brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the day 20, 21 episode, here's a link somewhere, you can click on it and find out what we're talking about before we talk about it. Wait a moment. Okay, we'll jump right in, but first I want to make sure I thank the people that made tonight's episode possible. If you're not familiar, the absolute only reason I'm able to do you know, a series like this is from the generous support of people just like yourself who have gone to patreon.com slash praxispepper, there's a link down below, and for as little as a dollar a month are just helping to keep this series going. In addition to that, they're also giving themselves access to behind the scenes content, ways of interacting with the series and helping to steer the plot, and additionally they are locking in guaranteed access to every single episode. I always release the first episode of every month on YouTube, but I only release the second episode of each month if we're at full funding. And you know, we're still at full funding, but we're always riding kind of close to the line there. And if you want to make sure that you never miss an Alien Invasion episode, for again, for as little as a dollar a month, you can just go to patreon.com slash praxisprepper and lock it in for yourself. In addition to that, you're helping to support the series and keep it going. So the people that I wanted to thank, uh, you know, for jumping on board just recently to help keep all this stuff going, I'm going to thank on this camera right here. This is an infrared camera, uh, which is capturing infrared light all around us. And it's kind of an interesting look. And I thought I, you know, would, you know, thank you guys on this one. So let's cut over to this camera. Pretty weird, isn't it? It's just, it's just a really bizarre look, isn't it? The way, what it does to the sky and my skin and my face and everything. Anyway, I wanted to, the people I wanted to thank uh, for jumping on board and helping out with this, uh, uh, you know, this week's episode and all of them are Rudy, Mike Stein, Old Soldier. Thank you very much, Kevin, Robbie, and you know the last person here. I'm sorry, I. It might be Jiri, J I R I, with a bunch of symbols over the R. And one of the, I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing her name or not even coming close to the proper pronunciation, but thank you to all of you guys who jumped on board and are helping. And thank you to everyone who has been on board, you know, for the duration of this. And it's just been helping to keep the whole thing going. It is a lot of fun to create these things for you guys, but it is a crap load of work. And I just could not do it, you know, without your generous support to help allow me to take some time off from my regular job so that I can do this kind of stuff for you guys. So thank you all very much. Let's go back to this camera and we can jump right into the uh, you know discussion about the episode. Now obviously, okay, okay, before we get into that, yes, the video before this was Ethical Preparedness's video and at the end there is a drone ready to kill him and then it cuts to black and it says to be continued. I would like to see the end of that. I would like to see the continuation of that Obviously, ethical preparedness is involved in that. He also would like to make that video, but he's a busy guy and we haven't done it yet. Um, I would like to bring that to you guys. He would like to bring that to you guys, but you know, I think we need to motivate him uh, and let him know that we'd all like to see that. So if you would like to see the continuation of his episode, you know, and I'll bring that to you, you know, in the future when, when we motivate him to do it, go over his, to his channel, link down below, and, you know, let him know you'd love to see the conclusion of his episode. I know he wants to do it for you guys. I would love to see the end of it, but, uh, you know, there's a lot, yeah, people, people get busy, you know, and the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So let's, let's start squeaking those wheels and let them know we'd love to see his conclusion. So anyway, this episode, we're uh, talking primarily about counter tracking measures and, uh, you know, things you can do so you don't get, you know, followed through the woods. And, you know, that, that's fun. I thought that'd be an interesting topic to talk about, but it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's like, I demonstrate a few techniques in here. You can read up about it, you know, do some practice on your own, but the, the bigger theme of this episode that I wanted to talk about here is the idea of groups breaking up because, you know, Monica goes her way, my character goes my way, uh, and we do it in the middle of a crisis. And that's what I want, wanted to really talk about in this video is the idea of groups, you know, in this case, just a group of two, um, but, you know, the idea of a group breaking up and going their separate ways in the middle of a disaster. Is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? Let's jump over to the infrared camera here just because, you know, I might as well use it. I'm not going to be able to bring this out very much. It's just it's such a weird look. Um, anyway, is that a good idea during a crisis or a disaster to have groups dissolving? I mean, is there any uh, impasse, any disagreement that you think is intense enough to, uh, to legitimize the idea of a group breaking up and, uh, you know, going their separate ways 
in the middle of a crisis, in the middle of a catastrophe, in the middle of SHTF and all that. I think that, it, you know, an impasse would have to be really big because I think you're always stronger, uh, you know, with more people. And I always think it's better for people to try to come together, work out your differences and, and uh, you know, come at it from that angle. Obviously, you know, if that's just not working, you know, you know, breaking up a group may be the only alternative. Okay, this camera's just too weird. Let's go over to this one. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, obviously if things are just, uh, you know, just not working like that, breaking up a group may be the only uh, option. But how do you even do that? Like, do you build that into the, you know, initial structuring of a group, how the group would disband if people ever felt that it needed to so that there weren't conflicts during a, you know, dissolution of a group? I think it's something that people don't, like, think about. I think it's like, you know, you're so happy to get a prepper group together you know like you know some other like-minded people that don't think it's nuts to be prepared for things um, that I think sometimes you forget to think about the idea of, well you know maybe what if it you know this group you know we're, we're doing okay now when there's not a lot of stresses on us but in a stressful environment maybe our personalities wouldn't really meld as well as we think that they would and how would we deal with that so I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if, if you have any thoughts about you know how to handle that you know if you think that's something that should even be uh, considered or if a group should just always stick together and, and never break up in the middle of a crisis. So that's it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to read them. People love to read them. You guys are a bunch of Einsteins out there. I always learn so much when I uh, am reading through your comments. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go to a clip from what's happening next time on the series. My character has moved to a, a kind of a new environment, a different environment, new opportunities, new challenges. And uh, here's a little sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. And if we're at full funding or if you're a Patreon contributor, you'll get to see it. So we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I got up and I did do a little bit of checking around in the area and it seems like this is a vacation town, a vacation community. We, we are near the beach right here. Uh, and as far as I can tell, there's no one here. I, I didn't see any cars. I didn't see any tracks from anybody around here. And I'm not sure why that is. I, uh, well, it, <laughs> it might have something to do with this uh, up there. Possibly. I, uh, I don't know whether that's been here since day one or whatever, but I mean, it's been here since I got here. And uh, yeah, so, but whatever, you know, I mean. I Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.